Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up six Breakpoint Booster Packs. Each and every one of these has a Mer Mega Gyarados on the cover artwork, hoping that will help me get a Mega Gyarados in one of these six booster packs. And I bought these booster packs from Walmart for $4.18 a piece. Fed up and down poles with Breakpoint so far. And if you've watched my other booster pack opening video, they have put a piece of plastic basically from way up here all the way down to here. So it's going to be a little more difficult to open each pack. I was going to try and save, if I can get in there, one of these packs for a future video. Just the cover. As you can see, this might just come right off. There you go. And now it's like a normal booster pack. Hopefully they don't rip it too bad. And of course I would rip it. So there's that one. And I'll go quicker here just to open up all these other ones. And so there we go. A couple of mega scissors right in a row on the cover artwork. Oh, three and for three on Mega Scissor inside the cover artwork there. Inside the actual pack, there's a different one there. And the final one here, and then I can get to open the booster packs. So, wow. Five of six packs had Mega Scissor on the cover artwork. But any Mega Pole would be nice. Let's put this right in the, the middle here, and then I'll just start off with this Mega Scissor pack right on top. I'd like to pull a full, full art trainer card. I know there's only one in this set. Or I'd like to pull out the secret rare. Have not pulled that yet. Okay, so first pack in this six pack opening starts off with the Chikorita. Then there's a Gibble, Glammeow, Phantom, Psyduck, Mawile, Scizor Spirit Link, Gyarados Spirit Link, Reverse Hollow of, Froakie, and that is a common, and then the rare in this pack. A Suicune Hollow, and I just pulled a Suicune Hollow out of a previous opening, but I'm a big fan of this legendary Pokemon. Let's set that aside. Okay, on to the next pack here. See what we get in here. Okay, second pack starts off with... A Psyduck, and there's an Esper, Growlithe, Shelder, Gibble, there is a Gyarados, Spirit Link, hopefully that'll lead to a Mega Gyarados, there's a Professor Sycamore, Bursting Balloon, Reverse Hollow is, a Shelder, just a common, and then the actual rare is a Luxray Non-Hollow. Okay, next pack here. Set the code card aside, move the rare and reverse hollow to the back of the pack. And this pack starts off with a Growlithe, followed by Shelder. There's a Gibble, Phantom, Glammeow, Professor Sycamore, All Night Party, Scizor Spirit Link, reverse hollow of Blitzel, just a common, and then the rare in this pack. A Shiftry Non-Hollow. Pretty good looking card, but just a Non-Hollow. Okay, on to the next pack, that Greninja Break pack. Only one out of the six. The other ones are all the Mega Scizor. Okay, so first card here is a Timpole, followed by Dot. Shelder, Chikorita, there is a Froakie, Arcanine, Puzzle of Time, Swana, Reverse Hollow of, Cricketot, and that is a common, and the rare in this pack, a Trevenant Non-Hollow. 
All right, two packs left. Hoping for something good out of the final two packs here. Have pulled one hollow card so far, so I guess not shut out pulls wise. But definitely a bit disappointing. I haven't pulled anything out yet. Usually when you buy single booster packs like this, you have a good chance of getting something, at least an EX card. So here we have a Skrelp. There's a Honage. Ducklet. Shinx. Numa, followed by a Great Ball, Heatmore, Pokemon Catcher, Reverse Hollow of, Pangoro, and that is a nice card right there, a rare Reverse Hollow, and then the actual rare in the pack, a Golduck non hollow But two rares in this pack is nice. Okay, on to the last pack here, hoping for an Ultra Rare. Other than that, just one hollow pull out of all of these packs. What? That really is a chance you take when buying sealed products. Okay, final pack. Starts off with a Phantom. There's a Trubbish. Timpole. C Dot. Shelder. Electivire. Bayleaf. Perugly. Reverse hollow of. Clefable, so at least two packs with two rares in them, and then the final card here, not an ultra rare, it is another Golduck non-hollow. But overall, I guess I did have two packs with two rares in them, and then just pulled out one hollow card from this six-pack opening, which was a Suicune. So there you have it. Thanks everyone for watching. Before you go, check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages. And stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.